<laughs> Guys, I've literally not picked up my camera yet today and it's 5.30. I've been plugging away on this video and right now currently I'm scrubbing while well, I'm doing these uh, character cards like Jake is Sammy, right? So I'm making these uh, introduction character sequences and before this I had to go through all of the footage and I tweeted earlier a hundred and fifty gigs of footage that we captured yesterday between three GoPros and the GH4 camera it's it's a lot so Veronica you gonna take everyone outside and show some cool stuff while while well, daddy's still working? Sure. <laughs> so Chase is in editing. We're gonna make some homemade bubbles. Look at these. You can and the bubble. recipe for this, I actually broke it in half because I didn't think we needed 12 cups of bubbles. I've got six cups of warm water and you need- How many cups do you need? A half a cup of cornstarch. Carson, you wanna help? Hold this. A tablespoon of baking powder. Colin, you want to do this one? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Baking powder. Okay. A half cup of dish soap. Carson, put your half cup back over there. Dish soap. A half tablespoon of corn syrup. Hold it over top. You can eat this stuff on your pancakes too. So you got the six cups Mommy, of water. Can I, can I stir it? Just wait, you gotta do it real slow. Cause you don't want a bunch of bubbles in there. Oh no, I can feel the cornstarch all Yeah, the cornstarch just kinda stuck to the bottom, isn't it? Yep, it makes bubbles. Can so it's cornstarch, baking powder, Dish soap and corn syrup. See how awesome these bubbles are. Oh, that's a big one. Look at the bubble, Liza. This <laughs> was <laughs> something fun to do. We've just been sitting around all day. It's been kind of a lazy day. Oh. How are they working, Carson? Good, pretty good. So the bubbles come out okay, but as I'm reading on this thing of how to make them, um, it says let the bu bubble solution sit for an hour or more before using it. Do you guys want to make something else while we wait? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's do sidewalk paint. Do you want to do sidewalk paint? Yeah. Whoa, Whoa. Carson. That's... While the bubbles settle, we're going to make what they call sidewalk paint. You take four tablespoons of water, um, six to eight drops of food coloring, which I already have the food coloring and the water mixed, and then two tablespoons of the cornstarch again to each of them. I'll put it in the red one. Bam. Put two in each of them. There you can kind of see it's, it's getting mixed up. Oh my gosh. But I'm at first. I'm doing red. You have to hold on to this and hold it down because see, it's really tough. Try and stir it. <laughs> I can't even do this. Careful, Carson. We got paint brushes. Okay. Me blue. Take them over there on that corner and paint something pretty. Me wet and Turning out pink. Mm. Easy, Colin. Mm, I'm drawing a house. Carson's gonna draw a house. Hi, honey. Hey. Hi. You like being outside? Where'd your arm go? Right there it is. <gasps> You're done? That's it? That's a house. It sure is. 
This is a little air conditioning. Oh yeah, the air conditioning? Yep. What are you drawing, Colin? <gasps> looks like grass! Mom, looks like grass! Looks like grass! It's mommy! <laughs> Is that I made a so much stuff that I forgot about the video games. I know, you forgot about the video games because we were so busy painting, huh? I'm going to do the grass Something pool. fun to mix up with the kids. Wait, wait. I'm going to draw some bushes. I'm going to draw one bush. You're going to draw bushes? There you go. Looks good, Carson. This is what happens when you mix cornstarch and water, and we just happen to have food coloring in ours. It's so hard to mix, because when you start moving the cornstarch in the liquid, it stiffens up. So as you see, when it's at rest, it looks like water. But when you stir it, it's so hard to stir, because it stiffens up. Come here, show me the bubbles. Yes. I finally got out of the house. I decided uh, there's no way I can finish that video today and I can't waste a whole entire day sitting and editing. I got kids and I got other other things to do. I gotta play with these guys. Huh. Bless them. Here, I'll take one, you take one. Let's do it together. Let's see who can make the bigger one. Ready? Oh, there goes one. <laughs> I mean, here we go. Check that out. Whoa. <laughs> you know, I would say we should just go somewhere like uh, the Ohio Caverns or somewhere cool and go enjoy some nature. But the sky looks like that's a bad idea. Looks like a storm. <laughs> that looks pretty gnarly, actually. Is it going to rain on us? <laughs> yeah. Look at that mess. I know. That's right? crazy. That's so crazy. Hey, but it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun for the kids. You did good, honey. You, you did the bubbles and you did uh, sidewalk chalk. Perfect. I forgot about the video. Now we need to show them how to make your, your Mommy, own homemade sprinkler. Like for tonight, what we're gonna have, we're gonna make chicken quesadillas for dinner. So we'll teach you guys how to make that. And I think since it's gonna be rainy, maybe we should get into some video games. Video games recording. Mm -hmm. Recording. Yeah, we we still need to do our gameplay video. Remember? Are you mad, bro? Yeah, I'm mad. I'm just, I'm just gonna start. I know. So a lot of you have been asking, what's the update with the bird nest? Well, it's still up here, uh, and I haven't checked it for a while. And to be honest, I haven't seen the mama bird in here for a while either. So I wonder, wonder if they're still even up here. Yeah, so they're still there. Um, I don't know how all that works. If the eggs haven't hatched by now, I have a really bad feeling that they probably won't. And we didn't do anything different to try and drive the bird out. Um, you know, she came in, built that nest Well, we have... Usually we leave the garage door open through the day, but... I, I haven't seen her in here for a long time, so... Unfortunately, I think they may not make it, which... It's kind of sad, and I promise it wasn't my fault. All right, guys, you want to make some super delish bomb quesadillas for you and your family to eat tonight? Here's how you're gonna do it. You get your chicken breast and boil it till it's nice and white all the way through. You don't want it to be pink at all, of course. And then what? And then you want to get the green onions. You want a third a cup of that, two thirds a cup of salsa, some cheese, shredded cheese. Shredded cheese, cheeser? Now, since this is like a cooking show piece right here, you already have some done, right? What? You're gonna pull out the stuff you already have done. Oh yeah. No, I don't have it done yet. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I've got all the chicken cut, shredded up. So we're gonna put two cups of chicken in the pan, two thirds cup of salsa, third cup of the green onions. Oh, ew. <clears throat> we need a tablespoon. A teaspoon, a teaspoon, I'm sorry, of the ground cumin. Cumin. Cumin, cumin, cumin. We need a half a teaspoon of salt and also a half a teaspoon of oregano. I'm not eating. I'm adding too many ingredients and the boys don't think they'll like it, but they will love you do it. Not like any You've of never even tried it. Exactly. So, once you get it in there, you just want to warm it. Get it all stirred up. Mm -hmm. So you want to preheat your oven to 375. Okay, and while that's cooking, you want to get a quarter cup of butter. Let's melt it a little more. You want it melted. Only do it in like five or ten second intervals because it doesn't take much to melt butter. Now it's time to prep the tortillas. Take your tortilla shell and you want to brush one side with the melted butter just lightly. Oh, I can't do this and vlog at the same time. Just lightly brush it. You don't want a bunch because then it'll make it soggy. And then you turn it over and you put in the center of one side. Kind of spread it out. Some of your cheese. If you make a bowl, then you get to go again. And sprinkle on there. And then you fold it over. Like that. And then you continue till you, your pan's full and you're out of your mixture. You just want to bake them until they're golden brown or they're starting to be golden brown. This is about 9 to 11 minutes or until the, the edges are crisp and golden brown. And there you have them. They are done. You take them out of the oven. Cut them up in little wedges, serve them with sour cream and more salsa. You ready to go? Ready to eat? How is it going? Awesome. Awesome? It's pretty good for mm -hmm. someone who doesn't like all of the ingredients that I put in it. The whole time I'm mixing it, he's like, I don't like that. Oh, that's gross. That's gross. I don't like that. And then it started cooking. He's like, oh, something smells good. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's dinner. And he loves them, don't ya? Oh my goodness. Good night. Love you. I'll take a super manly hug. Oh, oh my god. One to tell everyone good night. Night. I didn't give you a kiss yet. Give me a kiss right here. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> night, Colin. Good night, Daddy. We love you. Me and Veronica just finished watching this. The American Sniper. Super awesome movie. But everyone's asleep now. So I think I'm going to follow suit. We'll see you at coffee. What's this? No coffee! Oh my gosh. <sighs> that was close. All right guys, so I've been up here for a big portion of my day and uh, I've tried to put a lot of time into making the story of this speakeasy party uh, cool, and I don't know, I feel like I come up a little bit short, but I don't know, it's still kind of cool, fun little edit. Uh, I hope you enjoy my, my voiceovers, and, uh, yeah, I gotta put this to rest. So, I'm about to export, 
two videos and put those up for you today and uh, I hope you guys like them. This is a really short version of what happened. Unfortunately, I didn't get the type of footage that I wanted, so I tried my best to come up with some, some kind of story that made sense. Uh, so yeah, so that's, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see all of you right back here tomorrow.